your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by Tennessee Avenue Beer Hall, Bar 32 Chocolate, Cuzzy's Pizzeria, and Rhythm and Spirits. Check out all four great locations for an evening of entertainment and high quality food. Located on Tennessee Avenue in Atlantic City. And hey, good Saturday morning. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Thank you for joining me. Hope your weekend has started off on an awesome note. We're going to be muggy for one more day today, unfortunately. Temperatures right where they should be for this time of year in the upper 70s, but again, with the dew points in the 60s and even in the 70s by this afternoon, not going to feel very nice out there. Maybe an isolated storm possible as we have a cold front that is pushing through the region at the moment, and that will cause for possibly seeing a storm pop up in the afternoon, but very isolated hit or miss for us. Most of us will not see one. Tonight, much more refreshing. 50s for lows, low humidity. Wow. Open up those windows tonight. Definitely a nice, refreshing evening for us and overnight for and heading into tomorrow. Um, we'll be on the warmer side for tomorrow, but we'll be on the drier side, so no humidity. But that heat does come back as we head into Monday. Unfortunately, for most of the week, temperatures will be back near 90 degrees and feeling even warmer <clears throat> as, we put, as we factor in the humidity. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. As we take a look for the rest of today, for your NORCAST exclusive hour by hour forecast for the rest of today, temperatures rising up to around 80 degrees for most of the region at the Hammonds and Airport as you head towards the shoreline, of course, a little bit chillier. But as we head into the overnight hours tonight, we'll see definitely a change as we head towards tomorrow morning. Definitely some good news up there. As I mentioned, 57 for a low tonight. Wow. West to northwesterly flow. Not too much of a breeze out there, but we'll take it. Definitely a refreshing type of evening out there for us for the overnight hours. Very rare we get this at the end of May and the beginning of June, so take advantage of it. Like I mentioned, if you get a chance to open up those windows, definitely do it as we won't see temperatures like this for a while as we head into the rest of the week. As we head into Memorial Day, the memorials themselves, most towns are hosting them in the morning, so that's some good news because, as I mentioned, the humidity is going to creep up and we'll be reaching near 90 degrees by the afternoon hour. So in terms of rainfall and getting the memorials off without a hitch, that's not the issue. It's just timing of whatever town you're in that's hosting it. As long as it's in the morning, it should be, you should be in good shape. But the more afternoon ones, obviously, you'll be dealing with the humidity and the heat out there across the area itself. So <clears throat> that's the only bad news about that. But at the shore, look at that, 72 tomorrow. Wow, it's so gorgeous out there. Water temperature, we're getting up there, 62 degrees. Finally, we're getting into some areas where, especially the Delaware Bay is in the lower 60s. But the mainland shoreline, not seeing that. Maybe mean mid to upper 50s at best. Just cannot seem to get this temperature up at this moment. And obviously at the end of May, we should be, this should be even up a little bit higher than this, around maybe the mid-60s by the time we hit June, but not going to see that probably at least for another couple of weeks. What will help, obviously, is the warmer temperatures and the direct sunlight as we get into Monday through the rest of this week. We should see some decent warming of the ocean out there a few degrees at a time. So a future cast we'll see for the rest of today. Basically, like I mentioned, clouds will start to build through the afternoon hours. We'll continue to see possibly an isolated shower or storm popping up around the area itself. But again, more hit or miss. If you have travel plans going north of 195, that's I think is the best shot of seeing an isolated storm up there. So maybe central Jersey, the central shoreline up towards northern Jersey, uh, New York City and the Poconos. I think that's your best shot of seeing maybe some isolated storms if you have any kind of travel plans or heading to see family up in that region. But other, overall, we'll stay on the drier side. Things clear out as we head to the evening hours through tonight. And as we head through tomorrow morning, boy, I'll tell you, it's going to be a great wake up for tomorrow. Maybe some patchy fog, especially along Cape May County, because again, the Delaware Bay is around 62 degrees, upper 50s for lows, land temperatures cooler than the water temperature. Then obviously you start to get that ocean, that bay effect, if you want to call it that, with that fog heading into the Cape May County for tomorrow morning. But other than that, everything's looking fantastic for tomorrow afternoon. Like I said, drying conditions out there, temperatures into the 80s. We'll definitely take that over the mugginess and disgusting weather that we're dealing with for the last couple days across the area itself. Seven day forecast, as I mentioned, Monday, we start to warm up 88 degrees, 93 by the time we hit Tuesday. Wednesday's up in the air right now. Looks like there's an upper level trough trying to push through the area. And, uh, you know, I'm just not buying it with the model. So we might get a little bit of a break. It still will be muggy, unfortunately. So 82 degrees, yes, better than 93, but it's still going to have the dew points pretty high for that day. Uh, Thursday, we see a cold front pushing through later on Thursday night on into Friday morning. That'll help to clear things out as we head into your exclusive NORCAST plus three days next weekend. Temperatures on the warmer side, but the good news is it looks like we'll be uh, below in terms of the dew point. Won't see it as moist out there, so that's some good news dealing with this mugginess that we're dealing with for the last couple of days. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later.